Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Grace and Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. We, we begin with a musical offering as we prepare for worship.
On this, the eve of the Feast of the Nativity of our Lord, we proclaim and celebrate the word and the sacrament that God in Christ embraces the world. We begin on page 355. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be Jesus, Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. <laughs> A reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy, joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually 
and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Join me in reading Psalm 96 responsively by half verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. And his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But, but it, it is, is the Lord, Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and the magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty <coughs> of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness. And the peoples with his truth. A reading from Titus. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magic. Christmas magic. I can still feel it. The wonder of being a child in a world full of enchantment and miracles. It does become more elusive as I grow older, though. But it also grows deeper. Christmas re-enchants a world that is always losing its spark. The awe, the wonder of living in a world where we encounter God, where we are touched by the holy, where sacred communion causes our hearts to erupt into praise and adoration. A mysterious and mystical presence that takes our heart away. The magic of Christmas. Sometimes I think the Episcopal Church exists solely for this night. To hear the story, 
to proclaim the story of the birth of the Messiah. We do it well. Emmanuel, incarnation, the holy night, the infant Jesus, and the angels sing, and Mary ponders all these things in her heart. The almighty God wrapped in swaddling humanity. The magic of Christmas. It re-enchants the world. Now Luke's Christmas story is a story of being overpowered and overwhelmed by awe and wonder. Because that is the thing about praise and adoration. They aren't really choices. They aren't something that we do. They, they are what happens when we encounter God. The catechism teaches that God's being draws praise from us. In other words, praise happens. It is evidence of God's presence. It is an overwhelming thing, a loss of control, like, like being in labor or, or caught in a flood. The Christmas story is like that. Mary is overcome in labor, birthing the Messiah. The shepherds are overcome in fear. The angel and the multitude of the heavenly host are overcome by praise, exploding and filling the night in a a storm of of mighty wings, flapping and just stirring the air. For the world to be re-enchanted is for the world to be overwhelmed, possessed, possessed by a Holy Spirit. We lose all control. We are moved by goodness and love and song and praise because God owns us. And rather than than bondage, the, the magic of Christmas sets us free. That is the paradox of obedience to the Lord who has marked us and claimed us in our baptisms. Praise is pure freedom. Christmas in Luke is to be overtaken by events. Praise happens and we are carried away and and washed ashore in a strange new, new world, a world that is inhabited by the holy. You know that that Christmas carol, Good King Wenceslas, which, by the way, is not in our hymnal. I don't know why. (laughs) It should be. Where we walk in the deadly cold of night and are saved by the warmth of walking in the footsteps of the saint, where, where the heat was in the very sod that the saint had printed. The magic of the holy filling the world, warming the frozen sod. The world enchanted by the holy. Veniti adoremos dominum. Come, let us adore the Lord with the shepherds and the multitude of the heavenly host in their their storm of swirling wings. For the one who is wrapped in bands of cloth laid in a manger because there was no room in the inn, is also the one who is wrapped in linen cloth, laid in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had yet been laid. The manger and the tomb fill this holy night, and they overflow into that holy terror of Easter where, where death loses its sting where hell is put into an uproar because it is done away with. The darkness rages and 
fades away. And this night, this night is the turning of that tide. The world is no longer disenchanted. The world is inhabited by holiness. So let us make haste. May praise happen. Magic. Christmas magic. The world is sprouting wings, filling the night with the multitude of the heavenly host and song. The mighty storming swirl of flapping, that, that moment when the flock takes flight, that, that sudden silent whoosh. Venite adoremos dominum. And God's people said, Amen. Please stand. We confess our faith, saying the Nicene Creed, page 358. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of light, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We continue with Prayers of the People, Form 4, found on page 388. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the Church of the Nativity Union, St. John's Columbia, St. John's Winsboro, St. John's Congaree, Hopkins, and for the Anglican Church of Melanesia. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Daniel, our bishop, Andrew and Darcy, our bishops, retired, for Jack, our priest, and Mary, our deacon. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Joe, our president, Henry, our governor, and Terrence, our mayor. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for peace in Ukraine. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who have requested our prayers, 
especially for healing and for our homebound, for the unemployed, for the vestry of Grace Church, for all victims of the coronavirus, for health care workers, for all first responders, and for all who serve in the armed forces. We pray for the ministry in Kaj, Bojali, and Quito, for Anderson Interfaith Ministry, the Sunshine Houses, the South Main Chapel and Mercy Center, Meals on Wheels, the Anderson Emergency Soup Kitchen, and the Champion Center for the Special Children. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays this weekend, of this week, especially for Jimmy McGall, Chase Arnold, Marion Maxwell, Caroline Woodson, and Diane Peeler. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with confession of sin, found on page 360. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what, what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. I'll stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, peace Parker. Peace, God peace God. Alex. Peace, Aunt Jane. God's peace. God's peace. Hey, Daryl. Peace, Diane. Peace. peace, Carolyn. Right. Peace, Donna and Jim. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace.
Please be seated. Good evening. Good evening. Are there any announcements? We got power. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's, great. That's the thing that really matters. Anything else I'm, I'm forgetting? Yes, yes. So, in the Episcopal Church, all baptized Christians are welcome to receive the bread and wine of communion. Um, when it comes time, to simply come to the altar rail, either stand or kneel, hold your hands like this, and the bread will be placed in your hand. Um, for, the, for the wine, pinch the bottom of the chalice and help guide it to your lips. If you wish to receive neither one, you may stay in the pew or come forward and, and uh, receive a blessing. And, and I'm sure you'll forget all of that before you come forward. So just follow the person in front of you. Yes, you may drink from the chalice or you may uh, dip the bread into the chalice as well. All may, some really should, none must. Offer to God a thankful heart.
page 367. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, and the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in, in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with Joseph and Mary and the shepherds and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Alleluia.
the gifts of God for the people of God. This is holy. You are holy.
Page 366. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Be blessed by the one whom you have received. Forget not the poor. Pray for the sick. Make no peace with oppression. Venite adoremos dominum. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks. Thanks.